Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking again about the uh, tragic events that occurred at Astroworld on November 5th um, at the Travis Scott Astroworld Festival here in Houston, Texas, where unfortunately um, many, many people were injured and 11 people ended up losing their lives due to... Um, really just attending this concert and the series of events that kind of led up to that. There's been some more developments and I def definitely have an evolved opinion about some things now that there is there has been developments in all of and you know what's been shown and what I've been able to find and all of that and um, I want to share that with you guys as well as there's been some statements some more statements that have been released by Travis and by Kylie Jenner that I wanted to share with you guys the situation is just evolving and um, I want to give you guys you know as much news on it as I can it is really really troubling and triggering to watch um, so it's it's hard to watch you guys I'm not gonna lie um, some of this stuff, the clips I'm going to show in this video are going to be hard to watch. If you're triggered by violence or by seeing people in distress and severely hurt, then, you know, feel free to fast forward those parts of the video or just skip this one entirely. Full disclosure, there's a trigger warning just because everything having to do with this is really, really just pretty awful. So anyway, if you're interested in hearing all about that, then make sure that you keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I want to read, I want to read to you the statement that Kylie Jenner put out. And then I want to show you this, the Instagram story that uh, Travis Scott put out. Um, because <sighs> it's just not it, you guys, I'm just going to start off by saying it's just not it. Um, it's very much PR team constructed replies. And understandably so, right? Because you uh, you need to have a PR team helping you with a situation like this. That's just a given. However, I, I was expecting the response from Travis especially to be a lot more heartfelt and a lot more genuine than what we got. What we got, in my personal opinion, was bad acting. Somebody from his PR team or his manager or somebody on his team standing over there being like, Travis, you need to put out an Instagram story now. And him just being like, you know, like this really sucks. I, I, I love my fans. I can't believe this happened. And it's just very much that. And I don't know. We just need to see more about it. There are so many evolving theories and stuff going on about this stuff that I just frankly don't believe in, but I'm going to share those with you too. Um, it's just a mess, you guys. So this is what Kylie Jenner had to say. So Kylie said, Travis and I are broken and devastated. My thoughts and prayers are with all who lost their lives, were injured or affected in any way by yesterday's events. And also for Travis, who I know cares deeply for his fans and the Houston community. I want to make it clear we weren't aware of any fatalities until the news came out after the show and in no world would have continued filming or performing. I am sending my deepest condolences to all the families during this difficult time and will be praying for the healing of everyone who has been impacted. The first problem I have with this statement is she says until the news came out afterwards. If you guys watched my latest video, if not, I'll put a card for you guys so you can see it. When my friend was invited to the after party that Drake was holding, people from Drake's team told my friend that Drake was upset because people had lost their lives that night at the concert. You're telling me that Drake knew about this, the fatalities, but Travis Scott and Kylie didn't. I don't buy that for a second. And I'm telling you, this is uh, this is somebody I see every week, three or four days a week, the person that told me this. It is a good, good account of what happened. I have IG stories of them at this at this party. I'm not going to share those because those are private and I don't want anybody to, to, you know, message her or come to her or talk to her about the situation because she's not online like that. But how are you going to tell me 
that Travis and Kylie didn't know until the news came out after about the fatalities. That right there is a lie. That's a lie. And I don't like that. This is too serious to be lying about. It's it's awful. I'm going to go ahead and roll you the clip of Travis Scott's apology um, or statement on his IG story. And, um, okay, roll it. I just want to send out prayers to the to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans, like, my fans really mean the world to me, and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And any time I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Uh, we've been working closely. Uh, we've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this. The city of Houston, HPD, fire department, you know, everyone to, uh, you know, help us, help us figure this out. So if you, if you have any information, um, you know, please just contact your local authorities. Um, everybody continue to just keep your prayers. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just devastated and I could never imagine anything like this just happening. And I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you guys updated and just keep you guys informed on what's going on. Um, love you all. That was so very much. Someone standing there, Travis, you need to post an IG story about this. We need to damage control. Chris Jenner standing there. We need to do damage control. You need to say this. You need to say that. It did not seem genuine. It did not seem heartfelt. It seemed like, obviously, he was upset about the situation, but it did not seem like he was upset about the lives lost. And that's the issue. Of course, Travis Scott's upset that this happened because it is a lot of bad publicity for his name. But when you think about is he concerned really for the families of the, of the you know, the people who lost their lives? Is he concerned really for the people that were injured, for, for the people that were affected by this? Is he really? Because his girlfriend, baby mama, whatever she is, okay, is lying about what happened. And I know that because I have insider information into what happened after that, how, it just doesn't seem heartfelt to me. And that really rubs me the wrong way. Okay, I'm going to play you guys a clip. Um, this was given sent to me by a coworker. So we have been talking about this at work. And one of my um, dear coworkers that I work with, he um, sent me uh, a TikTok uh, we were talking about it at work, and he was like, no, Shelby, like, at a certain point, you he Travis kind of, like, stops the show a little bit and says, hey, we need to get this guy out of here. He acknowledges that somebody is passed out, and he acknowledges that. And that's, and then what everybody's been seeing online after that is that clip of him going, with, all, with the, like, auto-tune or whatever thing, while the guy's being carried out. So my opinion yesterday... Now that I have more information has changed because when he was singing and, sh and, and the guy was being carried out, right before that, in this clip, he does, like, not stop the show, but he pauses things to say, hey, security, we need to get this guy out of here. We need somebody to help make a path, clear a path. So I'm going to roll that for you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 just play it slowly. We need somebody to help him. Somebody pass out right here. Somebody pass out right here. No, no, don't touch him, don't touch him. Everybody just back up. Security, somebody help, jump in real quick. Keep going, just keep it this way. Somebody jump in, come on, come on, security, get in there. Let's get in there, let's get in there, let's get in there, let's get in there. Yeah, yeah.
In a nano two no, nano two no, nano two no, nano two no, second verse, nano two no, nano two no, nano two no, nano two no. Okay, and then there's also time. The people are yelling, stop the show, stop the show. If you can, you can very faintly hear it in the background of the beginning of the clip. They're saying, stop the show, stop the show. And you can hear that. Is it super loud? No. But Travis could hear that. Travis could hear stop the show. My opinion has definitely... Mr. Kitty, can you wait to do that till after we're done here, dear? They always want to do... Oh, my God. He heard Stop the Show. He saw people being carried out on stretchers. He saw people on the ground. And he did not stop the show. Travis Scott previously stopped a show because someone stole his shoe or something. I, that's what I saw online. So you're going to stop the show because of that? But when there's people being carried out on stretchers and you're in, like so much of your audience screaming stop the show, you can tell the difference in a scream that's a cry for help and a scream that is like, woo, yeah, go Travis. You can tell the difference in those types of screams. They sound really, really different. As a person, you can pick up an energy. Whether you believe this or not, I'm very, I do believe this, like, to my core, is that we can perceive energies around us. I'm getting kind of emotional. I'm trying not to. We perceive energies around us. We can feel different energies around us. And I truly do believe now, after more information has come out, Everything that I've seen, how could Travis not have felt an energy of, okay, something is wrong? We all have that in us, fight or flight, right? We all have that instinct in us. And when there's danger around, it's built into our instincts to feel that and to feel like you need to do something. When someone was being carried out on the stretcher, when he heard people yelling, stop the show, when the screams were not screams of enjoyment and like screaming because of, you know, the song or whatever. And they were screams of terror and fright and being scared. He didn't stop the show. And because of that, 11 people lost their lives and a lot of people were injured. And so many people were been traumatized by this situation. I... I have a friend who went to the uh, went to Astro World, and um, he. This is, when I read this, I was really shaken up because I care about this person a lot, and um, he tweeted on the day of the concert. He tweeted, "Only the strong survive mentally and physically, man." Okay. And then the day after, he tweeted this. I tweeted this last night after going through what I went through to get me and my people out of Astroworld safely. I had in my mind what I witnessed through it all, which, what, which led me to tweet this. I had no clue how bad it actually was because we were in it. Prayers to all. He was in it. And oh, it should never get to that point. There's so many different sides to this as to who you can hold accountable for it, who you can um, legally, uh, you know, hold liable or whatever. I think, honestly, a big, big part of the liability has to be to the performer. 
because in that situation, you're the one, you're the focus. You're the one that people are paying attention to. What you say goes as a performer, when you're performing in front of a venue, you have the ability on your microphone to say, make this stop, stop it now. People are getting hurt. Girls ran up on the stage. A girl ran up on the stage and said, people are dying. Somebody's dead out there. People are dying. And the cameraman didn't do anything. The cameraman probably didn't take her seriously. And now look. There's a lot of conspiracy theories out there as to what's going on. I don't believe in any of this stuff, but a lot of people think it's like a demonic ritual. And there's lots of comparisons to, you know, the Bible and all that stuff um, out there. And, you know, I don't know about all that. Um, it is reminiscent of what you hear about the Illuminati and people's, you know, inductions into the Illuminati. It's very reminiscent of that. If you follow any of that kind of stuff, like they say that Taylor Swift was in, 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 you know, inducted into the Illuminati when, you know, um, what's his name? Kanye went up on stage and like um, interrupted her speech to say Beyonce should have won this award or whatever. They say that's when Taylor Swift's thing was. There's different things that have happened to different celebrities that say that's when they were inducted or whatever. And people are kind of saying that they're saying it's some sort of demonic ritual or something. I don't know. I don't really believe in any of that, but it's definitely messed up. How can you as a person literally see, see people being carried out on stretchers and not do anything, not say anything as a performer? How can you, how can you sit there and do that? That doesn't make any sense to me. And it's coming out that in Travis's past, it's he's been known for wanting to have these really rowdy kind of shows. There's a difference between rowdy and people getting severely, severely injured. And then a lot of people, a lot of people that I've been talking to, and you know about the situation, they're saying it's a generational thing, and that the younger kids don't understand how to act in these types of situations. And I mean, I don't think you can just blame it on age. I don't think you can blame it on age. I don't think you can. I think that the Show security should have been a lot stronger. I'm just remembering some tea. So, apparently, Astroworld Festival was sold out on May 5th. And Travis posted a picture on his Instagram that said that he was going to try and get as many people as he could in there. What if Travis was behind all these people forcing their way into this show? What if that post made his fans that weren't able to go get together and start this whole thing and start this whole like thing and you know just kind of grew out of control to get all those people in there that didn't pay what if travis's people paid the security at the at the stadium paid the stadium to overlook the the limits on how many people could be in there because he wanted a rowdy show he wanted a lit show he wanted it crowded he wanted it fun you wanted it crowded, you wanted it fun, you wanted all these things, and then 11 people died. And you had the power to stop that. When you heard their screams, stop the show. Because let it. he said to make way so that people could get out in the stretcher. There's also another clip where he's going, oh, what is that, man? What is that? And it's the ambulance coming through the crowd. And he's like going, what's that? What's that? You're telling me as a person, as a person on stage, you notice two different things. You notice an ambulance coming through the crowd and you notice someone being taken out on a stretcher and you didn't stop your show. That is sick. Travis Scott needs to be held responsible. He needs to, there's something needs to happen with him. I, look, talented artist, man, okay, talented artist, okay, I can't, I won't be listening to him anymore. I won't be listening to his music anymore. I won't. Look at my hair, by the way. I'm sorry, you guys. I know. I'm sorry. Um, but I won't be listening to his music anymore. I can't. 
the only real way that we can do anything is by speaking with our wallets and with our views or with our, like, you know, listens or whatever, I guess, when it comes to songs. And if we don't listen to his music, that speaks volumes. If we, just like a YouTuber, when they get canceled or you want to cancel them, the only way you can really do that is by not watching them. I'm not going to listen to him anymore. I can't support that. I cannot support that. It's just, a, it's such a shame, you guys. It's such a shame that, you know, the youngest person was a 14 or 15 year old kid that went to the high school that I graduated from. In the junior high of my best friend, Zach, he was like 14 or 15 years old. So tragic. And anyway, you guys, that's just my thoughts on all of these updates that have been happening with the Travis Scott Astroworld situation. Um, let me know what you guys think about everything and the developments that have happened in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. And that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all my future videos when they do post. Remember that all Shelby Bells ring the bell. And you can follow me on all my social media at Beauty by Shelby. That's S H E. L B Y E. I said that really weird. I'm all at Beauty by Shelby, and I'll leave that right up there on the screen for you so you can see it. If you're enjoying the Beauty by Shelby vibes and want to see more, then YouTube should be suggesting a couple videos down below for you to choose from. So I would love it if you did that. But if you're just here to catch up on the latest with this Astro World tragedy with Travis Scott, totally cool too. Appreciate your view. I love you so. Thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. Try not to get um, too soaked up in the news and the Twitter and the TikTok and everything about this, you guys. It's a lot. It's a lot. I've gotten sucked in and it really does take a toll on your mental health. It's good to stay informed and know what's going on, but don't let it mess with your mental health, you guys. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.